Hello and welcome back to Barley Spring. Right, we are just carrying on from where we left off. And, right, I can see straight away I'm not going to make that turn, so I'm going to have to do a bit of fancy maneuvering here. He's a very tight way. If I can just turn in there. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, happy days. Now we should have a clearer access to the correct direction. There we go. <laughs> right. Also do love these beacons. Look at that. Alert. Alert. Oat coming through. Well, I guess you're behind if you're going to see those beacons. Anyways, we'll shut them off because we are back at the farm already. So what we're going to do uh, for this episode is obviously put the grain into the silo and uh, it'll sit there till we are ready to sell in... I believe oat is in... December? November, December time. Uh, so that's when we'll sell it. And I believe straw is about the same. We do have a field full of straw now, so we should probably uh, deal with that. We could we could do all the baling at one time with the canola and the oat straw, but I reckon we'll, uh, we'll kind of do one field at a time, break it up a bit, uh, and I think that's for the best, because we do also have to load all of the bales uh, in time as well. Alright, unload. Sorry again if you can hear the hay fever attacking me, but um, I struggle. Even when I'm feeling like this, I, I really do struggle to rest. I have to be doing something, and uh, since I can't really do my work, I will uh, definitely record some beautiful barley spring. Right, there we have it, all in there. We will check this amazing little mod right here, the time-saving stock check. So it shows what goods we own, everything that we own, not just what's in the silo, which is brill. Uh, but we do have 16,988 litres, and the price, as you can see, is going down, so it's quite poor. But it also shows the best price, the max price, uh, and then the total value as well, and the value now. So you can see if you were to sell now, you would get about £10,000 less than if you waited till oh, it's January, so that's good to know. Right, uh, the... Oh, actually, you know what? We can leave the trailer here for now because we won't need it until August when we're harvesting the canola. So we'll just detach that for now. It takes a moment to detach. And... Right, there we go. We'll go up here. We'll get our beautiful Heston. Uh, right, I suppose we could shut this for now. just looks better shut anyways. Right, get that shut. We'll head up here. Heston Baylor is on the right. There we go. Well, on the left, but the right of the of the storage shed. And it does still look amazing on the uh, on the Lambo. It looks brilliant on here. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so we'll maneuver our way back down to the field. Really, this is like the maximum size of kit you want at this particular farm. <laughs> it is very, very big uh, equipment and very small farm, but uh, we're just managing through. Uh, but the fields are massive, so you, you do need kind of a nice uh, medium, you know, in the middle sort of uh, between small kit and large kit to handle all the fields. Uh, right, so we do still have kit in the field, so we will tend to that as well. But we'll just get the baler in. And we do have to get the harvester out of there as well. Now, can we make this in one turn? Oh, it'll be to it'll be very tight. Oh, there is no collision on the Oh no, the header trailer. <laughs> so close. Right, uh, we will for now actually I'm just gonna move this out the way entirely. And we'll tend to that shortly. First things first, I will hop into the Massey. We'll just reverse up to the header trailer. We'll get it into a much better position than it is now to actually unload the header. Uh, and then we can take it back up to the farm, actually, because we won't really need... Yeah, we won't need it until uh, we do canola, which is next month anyways, so... Right, we'll just get a better position. I think... Yeah, go like this. 
Could even just bring it straight down there. Actually, yeah, we'll just go right in front of it. Blimey, might as well. Why does it look like... Yeah, maybe this is the best way. Rather than faffing about with the harvester, we'll just get it loaded on and then we can take the lot all back up to the farm. But this has been a very nice oat harvest. Again, I'm not I know there were bits of the of the crop that were not perfect as far as nitrogen uh, and fertilizer goes. Actually No, I, I think I think all things uh, lime were good. It's just the actual um, the actual fertilizer itself seemed to have uh, a bit of a difference because it was showing that it was too much nitrogen for the crop, which also can be as bad, if not worse, than no nitrogen at all. So luckily for us, we had a nice amount on there, which gave us a, a fairly decent yield. Right, so I won't rumble all the way through all of this, but let's see if we can get the combine out in peace. Nope, gonna... it's very tight. <laughs> <laughs> Almost should have reversed out. Right, we'll do about a five point turn here. Oh, maybe not five. Oh yeah, pretty much. There we go. And we are off to the farm. So I will get all this kit brought back to the farm and uh, prepared for the canola harvest. Then we'll be back in this field and get some baling done. Right, so instead of bringing everything up to the top of the farm, I decided to bring it in here, which is why I left a bit of space where we could actually maneuver around to allow the combine to connect to the header. So I think this was for the best to do this. We will maneuver it around and connect to there in August when we need to. Let's get that gate shut. Brilliant. Now we can head back into this field hop into the Lamborghini and start bailing. I think this will be an absolutely fantastic uh, bailing session. Um, yeah, we'll go across the top first just to clear out all the straw there. Right, we'll unfold it. This amazing bit of kit. Look at that. Get the pickup lowered down fired up and there we are so it's converted immediately over to straw and these are no joke of bales these are the biggest I'm almost certain these are the biggest bale yeah they are the biggest bale sizes we can do and they are massive uh, which is perfect for transportation and it just goes to show how many smaller bales we'd actually have in the uh, in the long run if we were to do anything smaller than massive Hestons. Right, might do a headland first actually just to kind of clear a, a way round. Let's get as much of that straw as we can. Uh, now I'm a bit concerned about going back up because with the combine we were only doing 10 kph but it had the power to climb the hill, go at full speed and still harvest the crop. With this kit, I don't know if it'll work quite the same. So we do have a 16 km per hour max speed while we're bailing. Uh, but whether or not we can maintain that up the hill remains to be seen. Right, let's we'll go along the bottom here. I'm eager to find out if it will work. Been very pleased with having two of my fields, and one we haven't, f we haven't harvested yet, the soybean behind, um, having them near the lake, because it is just a beautiful scenery to harvest. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> Cheeky. Right, so we'll get lined up here. Has it done it? Oh, it's almost picked it all up. Might as well get as much of the straw as we can. Missed a few bits there, but no matter. Right, now we'll head up the field here this way and see. It's about half, less than half cruise, see if we can maintain that speed, maybe a bit faster, right, so this first, yeah, going <laughs> going up the hills here will be a bit difficult, uh, there is a, a small flat part before it goes up again that we can potentially gain a bit of momentum, but not very much, well, nevertheless, we do need to get it done and crack on with it, 
And we are going to have our first bale dropping out here any second. It's ready. Just needs a bit more of a push. Right, as soon as that bale drops we can crack on into a time lapse. As soon as it touches the field. If we can make it up to the top. Right back where we started. Fantastic. There it goes, and we're off onto a time lapse. Well, I think we did quite well. Uh, as far as bales go, I mean, look at that. There's loads. And th remember, these are all, like, massive, massive bales. Now, there are missed bits. Uh, it looks like it was from when I went downhill for some reason, as if it couldn't uh, fully keep up with the immense speed we were traveling. <laughs> but nevertheless, we will clean up all the missed bits. We'll get this last row here we've got in front of us. Uh, and then that is it for the bailing, well at least in this field. Uh, so yeah, as I say, there are some missed bits here, so I will tidy them up. Uh, going downhill as much as possible, of course, if we can do. Uh, but yeah, a fair amount actually of missed bits, so we'll definitely clean up at, until we get the next bale. We won't get any more out of uh, the, uh, uh, a next bale, but once this one is full, then I think that will be all of the straw that we uh, will collect from this field. Now, whether or not we load all the bales this time round, or if we wait until the canola straw is baled, remains to be seen. Because we might as well uh, load it all up at once. Sorry, bale. Just need to get straw behind you there. Brilliant. 91%, just about there. Uh, how many bales have we got? I think that will show all bales. So, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll have 12, 13 bales, which is pretty good. I reckon we can fit that many onto a trailer, so I think we'll wait till we have canola straw as well, because we might be able, we might not have a full trailer with just what's here, and uh, that is a bigger, more, uh, a higher yielding field, the canola, so I reckon there'll be more straw as well. So I'll just go around, get that final bale, uh, and then we can move on, possibly move right on to August, and get the canola harvested as well. Good morning, and welcome to a beautiful August. Right, as we can see, it is a bit cloudy. Oh, we've got rain on the forecast as well. Right, we'll fill the bowl up for ivory. Hmm, that's not good. Let's have a look then. When is the rain meant to come? Ah. Oh, we've got loads of time. Okay, well then we best hurry, because uh, we still have... It still is going to rain. Ah, oh, hurry and do what? The canola isn't even ready. I see. Right, well I suppose, uh, being that it's August, we could just collect the bales then. Um, right. I was really expecting this to be ready to harvest, but if we look... Uh, oh, no, wrong, wrong place. Yeah, so we will have it in September which means that the soybeans will probably be ready in October. Oh, they might be ready at the same time. Might be a very busy harvest to do 
uh, in the next episode, so we shall see. Right, well then what we'll, we'll tend to is we'll get to the Merlot, which is... Ah, uh, we should probably also bring the trailer down. Right. Well, we'll shift that fur spreader out of the way, first thing. Uh, I don't think we'll need it anymore, really, like, ever again. So I will just actually tuck it away here. Seeing as this will be our last harvest, uh, we won't need that anymore. So I will bring the trailer and Lambo into the field first off. Now, what did I say? I think we said about... How many bells? Thir Thirteen? No. Sixteen? Something like that. Anyways, we should be able to fit... But now, remember, they are ma massive bales, but they should fit fine onto the trailer. Now, if we do find that there are too many for this particular load, we do have to be cautious, because there are a lot of low-hanging trees that can prevent stacking too high, even though the Malo can stack very high. I reckon three should be our limit. Three high uh, for the Hestons is ample, I believe. Um, oh, nope, not quite. Oh yes, alright, that works. <laughs> right, so here we are, in the field. So we might as well start with these two here. Now, I am thinking that it should be fine. What did I say? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Right, it was 13. So we'll find the Merlot. It's been a minute since we've been in here. Should just clear that. Ooh, that's close. Right, so we'll head down to the field and start collecting some bales. I was hoping to get the harvest done, but it's probably for the best, though, because we do not want to harvest in the rain, because then we will lose all that yield that we worked so hard to get to that level. So, and that canola crop is perfect. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant, uh, a brilliant harvest, that. And as I said, the straw as well will be really good from that uh, field as well. Right, so, let's see how this goes. We'll start with two. Right, there's the one. 84.50. That is a big bale. Blimey, that is a massive bale. But, as I said, I think three should be fine. So we might do uh, a couple rows first, or a couple uh, stacks, and then we can always add a third bale on top of these two. But we'll see how high up these two go. Oh, doing this on a hill is going to be very challenging. Right, I think those are extended all the way. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, just just carrying... Oh, why are they bouncing? No bouncing bales allowed, please. It's very scary when they start to bounce like that. Right, get it nice and lined up. We want to fit as many as we can on here. There we go. a bit farther over. Nice. That should do. And perfect. Two is actually very... Whoop, hello. Two is very, very high already. Right, well, let's just stack as many as we can. We'll do stacks of two and see how it goes, see how far we get, because by judging by this, we'll get one, we'll get two, four, six, eight, ten on. Hmm. Well, we might just throw those extra three on top, just to have them on top, and uh, see what happens. Right, we'll go for this one. It's all on its own. A lonesome bale. Yeah, we'll have to bring the uh, the trailer further down here as well. Actually, I don't think the hill should be all that bad, because there is a few flat parts that do make it a bit easier to uh, sort of maneuver around. But, I guess we shall see. Nice. And I do apologise if my uh, loading, because if, if we do break off into a uh, cheeky bit of a time lapse here, I want to make certain that my loading is not horrendous or ha hard to watch um, when it is in a time lapse. So we shall see how that goes as well. Definitely strap that down. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a much for bales. Yeah, I think when we get to the end there, because there is that gap between the front and the first bale. So I think we'll just try and push the lot of them to the front 
when we get the very last bales uh, on as well, because I think we can fit another two sort of lengthways here, so that will be very useful to be able to push all of them over, or all of them rather, to the front. So we'll try and line them up nicely, if we can do for now, but I think too high is loads. Should be very careful with more than two. Right. Oh, no, no, no! Can we rectify this? Oh, no. Well, that doesn't surprise me, really. We're on a hill, so that's my fault for doing it that way. Uh, but I will probably break off into a time lapse now, just so I can focus a bit more on the uh, on the bale stacking, and it will probably be a lot better when I'm not rambling on about it. So let's crack on. Alright, well, as you can see, we managed to get uh, all the bales loaded on. Now, as for the, the three stack, which I said I might not do, well, it's funny they're not stacking on that one, or rather uh, strapping on that one, but it seems to be fine. 109,000 litres of bales. That is incredible. But we do have all 13 bales on. Now, whether or not we can get up the hill is a matter of, uh, well, we'll have to just see, I suppose. Now, the best course of action, I'm going to just leave this whole setup in this field, although I might sell the field. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll sell everything at the end uh, before we kind of wrap up the whole series. I like to do a, a sell of everything, we'll sell the land and the equipment and all that as well. And uh, But we'll just, for now... Just put this out of the field, but still close enough to the gate that we can, yeah. It looks like even the lowest sort of branches should be fine. Um, yeah, as you can see, the whole way down it's quite uh, precarious, but as you can see, I think we've done alright there. I think we've done alright. Right, well I will leave the... Yeah, I'll leave that there, and August is essentially finished uh, for us, because... Here, I'll go down and get the mellow while I'm rambling. Uh, right, Aug <laughs> August is done, uh, which means we'll be able to move on now to September and uh, get into... I, I really do think that that field will be ready to, to harvest as quickly as the canola is, because it is showing that we are in the 6th of 6th growth stage, and as is the canola, 8 of 8, because this does grow a couple months quicker than the canola, so I reckon we'll be very busy in September. Hopefully it's not raining the whole time, uh, but I guess we shall see when that time comes. Right, so we'll go, we'll bring the Merlot up to the farm, because we know we'll need that sooner than the trailer, and uh, then we'll move on to September, and we can harvest some canola. Good morning, and welcome to a very cloudy and soon to be rainy September, uh oh, best check, when the rain, fill the bowl, good little morning routine to do. Uh, right, so as expected, the all of our crops are now ready, we have the canola on the right, soybeans on the left, both ready to harvest, everything's ready to harvest, but let's have a look though and see, oh fantastic, so three, so three o'clock again for harvest, now what we might do is, f well for now we'll just get straight into it. We'll get straight into the combine. Um, as I said, this will be a bit of a uh, maneuver. 
but not not too bad because we can actually yeah not nearly as bad as the oat setup should be able to <laughs> oh no just I don't like destroying crop if we don't have to of course what's going on is it that far off come on come on class brilliant so it wasn't too bad um, I would like to try and go across the bottom first but you know what since we are in this position I might as well just go uh, straight it's very dark I notice that the autumn months in the on this map are also very very dark right and we are harvesting that canola we should have a swath coming out as well to give us some canola straw there we go yeah we will have a, a lot of canola uh, sorry straw bales to sell but well, lots of canola as well <laughs> to sell um, being that the yield tends to be a bit uh, like smaller yield but higher quality um, I don't think we'll have as much in the way of uh, filling up a trailer as we did with the oat but and and then even less so with the soybeans because it just uh, yeah the yield isn't as much but it is worth more in the long run so this is this was something I was a bit worried about when we were drilling this particular angle but the harvester is just tackling it like no problem look at that incredible right get around this corner here oh yes brilliant oh this will be a really really nice harvest I might as well just go all the way up to the uh, the top there because when we do our baling it will be it'll be a lot easier to go up and down the rows even with the hill. I, I know with the baling it did take a bit of extra time to deal with the uh, with the actual bales, cause, well, the actual baling itself because of the, uh, the massive hill that we had to climb every time we went back up but nevertheless it did end up working fine. It took a bit of extra time but no problem at all. Right so we are at almost 20% of a combine nearly a fifth, a fifth of a combine and we haven't even really done much of a headland. So we still have to go back down and then around to the where we started. There we go. Cut around this tree as well. Fantastic. Yeah, we will try and get as much of this harvest done as we can in this episode. Um, however, it might end up going into two parts but we shall see the baling for, sh for certain will be in in the next episode but can we finish the canola harvest well i guess we'll find out we couldn't i suppose now would be a good time to crack on into a uh, time lapse and just see how far we get see how far we out before we have to empty the combine right let's crack on Well, there we have the first hopper full. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a... a move. I did a bit of maneuvering down at the bottom there. I wanted to get that section sort of done first so that we can really focus on going up and down this part because it is the long way of the field. Uh, but, right, we do need to probably come in this gate with the trailer. It is very dark, though. Yeah, I'll keep the torch on. It might help to see things. Right, where have I left all of my... Ah, where is the... Where have I left the Lamborghini? Ah, right. 
attached to our bale trailer. Now if I detach, will it roll away? Right, I do not trust that, so I will take this with us <laughs> and uh, at least here, you know what, at least here. Right, that's better. I was worried it was going to fully roll away on us. That would be absolutely horrible. Come back and all the bales are in the bloody lake. That would be something. Right, well, let's get our trailer here attached. Right. Okay, and um, yeah, we'll have to park the Merlot there so we can't go that way. This has been an absolutely fantastic trailer as well, and uh, it seems as though the canola crop will potentially fill it up. I'm I'm very surprised that we didn't get further with this uh, particular harvest so far, being that it is canola. But what an absolutely brilliant yield we have thus far! Right, just get brought over here. And we'll start unloading into the trailer. Oh, nearly. There we are. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful canola seed. Going in, get a nice even distribution of it. Now you can see some of the, uh, the dead weeds that probably really helped uh, increase the yield. Because if we look here, it does show that the yield potential is 89%, which... I mean, well, it says potential is 89, so I don't know why its um, reading is so poor. It could be the, the soil itself. But remember, this field did have a very different uh, crop. Oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was this one, sorry, that had all the different, uh, you know, good potential yields and all that. This one's 91, and that one, that one was our best. So, yeah, there you go. So far, so good, though. However, this is where we will be leaving it for this episode. So in the next one, we'll obviously be finishing up the canola harvest here. We'll get all of this straw baled up as well. Uh, and then we'll be able to harvest our beautiful, also ready to harvest, soybean crop. So, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, a cheeky thumbs up really does help along with the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. So until the next one, please do take care. And bye for now.